Hello there Apps by viewers, my name's Peter and I've got a hands-on preview video for you, this time it's with Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers, 20th Anniversary Edition, and this is coming from Pinkerton Road. Now this is the intro video uh, for the game, uh, I thought I'd just show you this a little bit while I rattled off all of the information. This game's coming out July 23rd, all things uh, being considered, and it's coming to iPad and Android. So if you've got an iPhone, not you're, you're slightly out of luck on this one. Um, it is a remake of Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers, uh, you know, 20 years after it, uh, it kind of came out and did its thing, uh, this 20, 20th anniversary edition, and it's been uh, remastered, effectively. So similar Similar story, in fact, uh, I would say almost identical story, uh, but overhauled engine, lots of cool stuff. Like it's definitely got the, 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 the feel and tone and flavour of the original game, but now it looks way more modern. The game is already available on PC and Mac. That came out last October, but uh, as I say, end of July if you have, want to play it on a portable device. This is day one, so let's have a quick look at how this goes as paper boiler he's going to go and do a stunt course in a moment after he's uh, completed that stage uh, and uh, we have a uh, uh, lovely female protagonist wandering into where everything kicks off so this is where Gabriel Knight kind of lives and resides works and doesn't make a lot of money that's kind of uh, that's kind of how Jane Jensen sets up her character uh, of Gabriel Knight. I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel's allowed. I mean, he's out. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Bye bye. Good morning. You look like hell. Did you have another nightmare last night? Yes, because having nightmares is what I do, apparently. Seventh damn night in a row. I told you, it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw with your karma. Unfortunately, I don't think my readers would go for a horror novel about fluffy bunny rabbits. So voodoo it is. You mean your reader? She lives in Wisconsin, doesn't she? Bite me. Hey, what goes on in your bed stays in your bed, as far as I'm concerned. I have messages for you when you want them. So, that is uh, Gabriel Knight's introduction to the world of video games. There's a little bit of tutorializing here, and I will explain exactly what all of that stuff uh, uh, was just now. So, in the top left-hand corner, you've got this little button thing. That shows you all of the points of interest, things that you can interact with. So you can see there's me, Gabriel, there's a ladder, the bookshelf, Grace's coat, all that sort of stuff. There's a pause menu in the top right-hand corner. Bottom right-hand corner is a map, which we can't access just now, but we will in just a moment. There's also my satchel, where I keep all of the items. This is a point-and-click adventure game, after all, so we're gonna find lots of items, rub them together, and then go, hold on, why did that go with that? Okay, fine. Uh, and then this is our journal, uh, and uh, Gabriel writes in here about things that Gabriel's thinking about the events that have happened uh, and it will contain hints basically uh, as to what you might want to be doing next and then also there's actual hints uh, so the game will give you hints as to how to move forward and progress in the game and then if we tap the star this is um, special 20th anniversary edition content that just was not in the game the original game you know it's concepts and sketches and so forth of how they've made this thing so we'll exit out of that to uh, sort of move around, it's your typical touchscreen based adventure title, so let's go over here, I'm going to tap on this uh, little um, cubby hole and then hit the I button, so you've got that radial menu there, uh, you'll have lots of different options uh, as to what it is that you want to touch. Uh, here we are, little magnifying glass, and I think also, what else should we go with? Let's go with these shiny tweezers with the uh, little sparkly bits coming off of them. And, uh, you know, we can also look at other things and, um, you know, see what else there is. There's a Mary statue, a dragon, a sexy picture. Let's look at the sexy picture. What's that look like? Mmm, fun to have. Very good. Um, what do you think of this this guy's voice acting? I think, I think the actual voice acting is really, really strong, but it's that sudden, you know, 
bayou er area uh, kind of an accent is not one that we hear very often in video games and I think that it'll take you a few it'll take you you know five minutes to, to get accustomed to it but actually I think it's a you know the voice act is very strong uh, essentially so I think uh, I think you'll be fine uh, after a while this is the portrait um, area in which you have conversations and if you played the original Gabriel Knight you'll be thinking ha huh, that looks really familiar because of course this is how the game was structured and how it was laid out these little yellow buttons um, these are essential topics that you have to go through to progress the story forward the Dixieland drugstore and the historical museum of voodoo both are right here in the French Quarter how would I ever manage without you you give me a break the devil himself couldn't change you well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps, like yours. Mm, so this is one of the things I don't really like about Gabriel Knight. Not the game, but the character. Uh, Gabriel Knight's a bit of a bit of a horn dog, basically. Like he keeps saying things, and you're like, dude, that is not. That is really not cool. Like that is the basis of a sexual harassment lawsuit. Um, so it. You start off not massively liking Gabriel Knight, or at least that's that's certainly how I kind of come to the character. Uh, but you realise that he's a bit of a rotter with a heart of gold, which is you know doesn't really excuse some of the terrible things that he says and uh, the fact that he's constantly lecturing at women. But uh, you know, yeah, uh, he's 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 complex. Let's say he's he's certainly complex. You're going to be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a real hit mm, Yeah, Grace. I wouldn't. I wouldn't work. I wouldn't work for him uh, if I was in that position. But there we are. Uh, we can move from room to room, but I won't show you that because I'm going to take you outside and uh, show you the map. Or at least I will do in just a moment. There we are. He's going to pop his little lovely coat on. He saw the Matrix and thought, well, that's for me. I'll get one of them coats. I look like Neo. Uh huh. And of course, he's got a badass motorcycle. He's a bit. He is. I don't know. Like, he's a complex character, like I say. And I think you will grow to like him. Uh, you know, and if you've played the original Gabriel Knight, then you probably already do quite like him. Uh, so let's go here. This is the police department, and we're going to go and find out some more stuff. The game progresses on like this. It's a point-and-click adventure. It's a classic point-and-click adventure. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it does also fall into some of the traps that the point-and-click adventure eventually would kind of uh, fall into, which is namely that it does get slightly, um, what's the word, convoluted at times. It's a very complex game and you'll have to go through lots and lots and lots and lots of text. It's lots of very good, rich um, world building, of course, but you will have to talk with lots of people multiple times, you know, rub different objects against different objects to combine other objects and then, you know, and that kind of thing. It's not nearly as bad for that stuff as later games in the series, but this one uh, is definitely old school in its approach. Hence, there is that hint system in place uh, for people who do get stuck. So that is something. Um, and I'm just moving through here. But I, I don't want to show you too much more of this because I think you kind of get the feeling as to exactly how it all works. Uh, but what I will say is that the, uh, the day one, which is what I'm playing at the moment, of the game is going to be free. And then there's going to be in-app purchases for days two and three, days four and six uh, uh, through six, and seven through ten. And they're going to be uh, in-app purchases. As I say, they're going to be premium content. Um, and uh, so it'll be kind of like chapter-based, effectively. As I say, this is coming out on July 23rd. That's the information that we've got at the moment uh, on iPad and on Android. Are you an old school fan of? Uh, are you an old school fan of Gabriel Knight? Do let me know in the comments.